Hello, Bill. This is Bear from Our Wave, and uh, today, as you can see, we're going to take a look at gold. So, for the record, today is uh, Sunday, the 22nd. I believe this video is going to be posted on Wednesday, the 25th, I believe. Um, so, things might have changed a bit. However, however, uh, looking at what's happening, it looks like um, I was right um, from the previous update, which is always nice. Uh, but um, yeah, sometimes you you win some, sometimes you uh, lose some. Um, but so far, so good. So uh, just quickly going um, over the preferred long term count. Um, now there's a case. I mean, you can make a case as gold's been trading since uh, you know medieval times and uh, even before that. Um, it just you know, start to, to take a different role in, you know, modern era, uh, you could go back towards the uh, beginning of times. So, knowing that, uh, my best guess is a 1, 2, this could be a way 3 and 4, uh, because we don't know what happened here. We, all we know is, this is a large correction, the largest we've had in uh, modern times, and uh, at some point, we may, we should expect a correction of the same degree. When will that happen? Well, if this is the count, we, I mean, hopefully, uh, it won't, I mean, hopefully, we'll still be alive to see it, but we also may be dead. Um, I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't it? So, with that in mind, oopsie, with that in mind, Another one, two, wave two completed in uh, 2015. One, two, three, four, five. One of um, cycle three. Now, what is nice about this wave one, it ended near the previous all time high. Very common. Three wave pullback. And now, and now, if you pay attention, and I apologize for the uh, waves, let me see if I can hide them. Okay, so trading view apparently today doesn't want to um, help on the tools as you can see. So let me try to uh, close it and restart it. Okay, so that worked. So what I want to show you is if you look at it now, look at the angle of ascent. Look at how steep we're going up. And this could indeed be some, you know, because technically we are in way three. Now, uh, back to this, uh, I don't know why this is called Kubrick, call it a subdivision in three. Okay. So as you can understand, if I am correct, it's all a big if, you understand pretty much the sky's the limit. Right? If you look at this wave one, you look for target for this with three minimum target would be quality three thousand two hundred dollars. One plus six point eight would be very realistic at uh, almost five thousand. So you understand uh, what's going on now. Remember, you know, as we are at twenty six hundred, uh, five thousand is just uh, I mean, just in 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 quotes, a hundred percent, nearly. So it is. It sounds like a lot. But if you compare it in the overall grand scheme of things of something like, um, you know, a share in the stock market, thinking about Apple, it's this is pennies, right? But nevertheless, um, uh, that's what uh, my account suggests. And that's what's going on now. Finally, let's dig into the intraday. So. Now let's only focus on this. As you know, I kind of this is a one two. I know this is a big spike. I've also showed you how if you look at the line chart, it looks smaller. I also said that if you look at the line chart, but then you do everything on a bar or candle chart. So you always, so obviously line chart is just the close. Here you have more information. You have data about the high and the low of every um, time interval. So it is kind of cheating. It is kind of like. Um, contradictory as your, you know, you label everything on using one chart or the other. I said that I acknowledge that. 
uh, but this is my best guess. And uh, a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, and uh, my I don't know the last update if it was last week, ten days ago ish. We were here, that's what I remember, and that's where we're gonna focus. So, grand scheme of things, we could have completed this way four. We are headed in this way five to complete intermediate three. And if we look at targets, not the uh, target you are thinking if you are American, but the upside target. What a great joke. Uh, Barrett, you're so silly. 1.618, where does it stand? Right here, almost at 2800. And as you can see, we're heading there, and it's possible we get a larger correction there. Now, that being said, straight into the hourly, and let's investigate what's happening from year onwards. So, as I said last time, last update, we were here. I said, look, if you remember, I said, look, this looks impulse. Oh, sorry, this looks corrective. Um, this looks like a three wave move down up down um, I and I said we were bouncing back and forth 2500 which is a very important level as you may know if you've been following me look at this as if we found support we are going to move higher and we did now uh, good job me but that's not the point even though if you want to let me know down in the comments how good I am. Um, I won't stop you from doing that. But seriously, so this you can label it as, well, it's not that important. You can label it as WXY uh, as it looks a bit choppy. The main important thing, as I said, I think last time around is identifying what is corrective and what is not, which sounds easier um, than it is. Now here, so we were here and we started moving higher and now we move higher. So let's try to understand what's going on. So that's not easy, is it? So um, if, if, if I'm, I'm thinking, you could be thinking this too, three and four. Now, if we were to count this as a one, two, you see how it, it looks more like a three wave move rather than a five wave move. So. Either you have one, two, three, four, you see the spike here, five, and then four. But at that point, let's say you have wave four here and three here. There's no alternation, is it? So that doesn't look right. I'm thinking, what if wave two is here? This is a three wave move. And as a matter of fact, you could kind of see a five wave move in here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, choppy. So choppy could be many times a diagonal or corrective. So wave B, three wave move. Three down, three up, five down, infinity and beyond. So I think this is a good way to look at it. And at this point, one, two, three, four. Is three longer than one? I think so. Yes, it is. It's nearly one plus six, one, eight. Perfect. We want to see that. So at this point, this could be the count. Now, wave five target. What is wave five target? Um, so, wave five target, if we look at the ch trend channel, we connect to one four, project to three, we could get an estimate for wave five. So it looks like we might be close. Um, in addition, you could argue it's a one, two, three, four, we're heading higher volume. Okay, well, it's not too, it's pretty bullish. So volume suggests we might see for their upside. If we work with the numbers, um, guess where I think we might get some resistance. If you said uh, 2,650, you guessed right. Right here, that's where I would expect something to happen, which would be pretty much right near where we would expect it. So, 
by the time this video is getting posted, we might have gotten there and reacted from it. So may not be of any help to you. However, if that happened, you know that you wait, we may be entering a larger pullback. Where's wave four? Pairing up to this wave two. Now, so far, um, I got um, gold right. Um, doesn't mean is I'm, I'm, I'm right this time around, but when one, two, four, five, downside, um, I would overall remain bullish. There's no reason to be, let's say, bearish at the time being. Again, as long as the pullbacks to the downside are in three we move, there's no reason to be bearish. And uh, I think that is all I had to say. Any questions, let me know in the comments. And uh, there's always a Discord, it's absolutely free. Just beware of scammers, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.